Hey, what is up guys? I know that some of you had a hard time ammo-wise with the AoE weapon changes. Many think AoE weapons are dead, but in this video I'm gonna remind you what tools we have for the ammo system of these weapons and how can we make our lives easier when we want to use those weapons. I'm gonna list you everything we can use ammo-wise for AoE weapons and then my thoughts and recommendations. Let's find out if we can blast those weapons like nothing happened. Okay, we got a lot of tools in the game to improve the ammo efficiency, so let's get into it. First, we got two Warframe abilities. Protea's Dispensary, that was already used a lot. It's a really good ability to keep the energy of your squad up, as well as its ammo. Every time it's gonna proc, you're gonna get 10% of your ammo back and it can drop a second copy of its drop with a base of 25% for 100% strength. Note that this ability can be subsumed at Helminth, so this is a great contender for ammo sustain if your gameplay remains stationary. If you're a Lavos enjoyer, which not many of us are, you still have his third ability, the Transmutation Probe that is going to convert every health and energy orbs and ammo pickup into universal orbs and ammo. This is definitely a good tool, for example, if you run an exterminate and your weapon is running low on ammo, you should be able to replenish its mag pretty efficiently and Lavo's second ability, Via Rush, is in my opinion a great mobility tool for fast exterminate missions. I actually use it on my Serene build. Then we have the large squad ammo restore that you can get from the Red Veil Syndicate reputation and craft it in your foundry. This one could have been useful as it was strong already in the past, but they made sure to nerf it to the ground with the update. And now it only pulses every 15 seconds for 60 seconds and gives 3 times the ammo pickup your weapon indicates, so 3 rockets for AoE weapons as your base ammo pickup for AoE weapons is 1. I guess for regular missions and arbitration players, they will still be able to spam those pads and it's definitely a great tool to polish your lack of ammo. I highly recommend to craft and keybind those pads on your gear wheel if it's the content you are running. But if you are running steel path, I don't think one of those pads will make a huge difference as you can't spam use them. Talking about arbitration players and people that like to camp in a corner and don't want to move every 10 seconds to pick up ammo drops, we have another great subsumable ability from Nmlymph that even got buffed with this update. Mag Pool. With our augment Greedy Pool, and if your Warframe runs a build with decent range, this would definitely help you to sit and AFK behind a wall or in a corner with your friends as you can pull your ammo through walls. Definitely a great tool for people that enjoy this kind of gameplay. Okay, one more Elmith ability that in my opinion is the best ammo efficiency tool in the game by far. Energized Munitions. For a duration of 5 seconds, you get 75% ammo efficiency. It only scales with duration. So if you have a frame with decent duration, I definitely recommend this ability, as in addition to give you insane ammo efficiency, it prevents you from reloading your mag as often as you would. And it feels great if you pop it before raining rockets at an EV unit, against which you potentially would have to reload if you didn't have energized munitions running. Alright, one last niche tool. The Parazone mod Blood for Ammo, which will refill 100% of your mag after a mercy kill. If you run Leech Hunts with an AoE weapon, I don't see why you wouldn't slot it as one of your Parazone mods, as it can definitely make your life easier without losing much in return. Finally, the Aura and Weapon mods at your disposal. Okay, first let's talk about the Auras. It's simple, don't use the Scavenger Auras. They just won't help you at all, as the ammo pickup value of AoE weapons is 1. If you multiply it by 1.5, it's still 1 ammo per ammo pack. Then, you got 3 actually useful type of mods depending on your playstyle. The Magazine mods. Magazine Warp, the Prime version will give you up to 55% magazine capacity. 1010 Mag plus 66% magazine capacity, but 
less 33% reload speed, and wildfire plus 20% magazine capacity. Then you have ammo drum, which you must already know gives 90% ammo maximum, which is definitely interesting. But I personally prefer the sniper ammo mutation mode for my Exilus slot, which now converts 92% of secondary ammo pickups. Note that they heavily nerfed Vigilant Supplies as it only converts 40% of the ammo pickups, but it's still definitely an interesting Exilus mod if you want to pump your crit chance. Alright, what do I think about these changes? We really needed some shakeup. AoE weapons were too dominant in regular missions. The AoE weapon rebalance will force players to make better use of their Warframe's abilities and pair it with the AoE weapons to polish their clear. It won't be as brain dead as before and now people will have to be careful to don't waste their ammo. I agree, it definitely can be a bit stressful to run low on ammo all the time, but don't worry guys, we have a great community in Warframe and I'm sure some people will share new great AoE clear strategies in no time. What do I recommend? If you run Steel Path a lot like myself, I definitely would consider running the Elminth Ability Energized Munition if your Warframe has good duration. And of course, you can always consider dropping an ammo pad in case of ultimate crisis. Other than that, if your gameplay remains stationary, Protea Dispensary and Mag Pool with the Augment is definitely a great tool you can utilize as they are both subsumable at Elminth. Alright, hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to use the commentaries on YouTube or join my Discord. I wish you the best luck and I'll see you guys later.